<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the shadow knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows, and I'm back with the seventh and final part of my Winter Games comparison video. Tonight I'm going to play the Bob set on the Commodore 64 at first. And I was pretty good at this game. Really played it a lot. And that's it. No clue if this time is any... Oh, I have two attempts for some reason. I thought I only had one. I have to be 2209. I did it. I have a third attempt. Great. Okay, I have three attempts. And I'm not sure if there's a closing ceremony. Yeah, but anyways, on to the Amstrad. I'll show the closing ceremony in a different video, if there is any. Summer Games had one. Or Summer Games 2 had one. Okay, back with the Amstrad version. Let's see how, how this compares to the C64. It looks worse, to be honest. And I really noticed that the, all of the events on the Amstrad are much shorter than they are on the C64. So you, uh, yeah, it's, the recording time for this on the Amstrad is about 15 minutes compared to 20 minutes on the C64. And I didn't do anything different. So for some reason, Everything is quicker on the Amstrad in that aspect, and that's the only aspect. The game itself is definitely slower, but not unplayably slow. The only real weak event on the Amstrad was uh, the Biathlon. All other events seem to be perfectly fine. Okay, that was the Amstrad onto the Spectrum. Okay, back with the Spectrum version for the final event, Bobsled. And 
and I think compared to the C64 and the Amstrad version, this is worse because on those two versions you could see uh, ahead the direction of the curve if you were looking closely and you can't do that on the spectrum so this is worse yeah but otherwise the other events play fine no clue why I uh, could not control the ski jump other than not being controllable it also looked fine Yeah, so I would say the uh, Spectrum version is, is quite a good conversion. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, that was the Spectrum version and once again on to the MSX. Okay, back with the MSX version. Yeah, this is more like the Spectrum. So maybe they did use the code from the Spectrum version and uh, yeah, just added support for the uh, sprite hardware from the MSX computer and changed the graphics. Yeah, but still uh, better than a really lazy Spectrum port. This is actually okay. And the Spectrum version already was quite playable. So I wonder if I can actually control the ski jump in this version. And yes, I haven't played the ski jump yet because uh, the events are completely shuffled compared to the other versions and you will see them in the order that was dictated by the C64 version which is the original one I think yeah but this is not, not terrible Yeah, that was the MSX version onto the Atari ST again. Okay, back with the Atari ST. Yeah, and here you can again see ahead in which direction the next curve is going to go which is really good to be honest helps a lot makes this a lot easier than it is on the spectrum or the, the yeah I, I think it was the spectrum and yeah, I can't even remember if it did work on the MSX But this is perfectly fine. Would not say I really prefer it over the Commodore 64 version, but yeah, it's totally fine.
Okay, I think that was all. On to the Amiga. Okay, back with the Amiga version. And again you can see ahead what is coming. Yeah, that was the Amiga version on the Atari 2600. Okay, back with the Atari 2600 version. And this is probably the replacement for Bobsled. It's actually really well made for the 2600. It's totally different from the, from the other versions, but really well made. The entire Winter Games game is really well made for the 2600 and the only events they left out uh, were the uh, figure skating ones ah, whoo, that was close Yeah, this is actually really well made. And another gold medal for Canada. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.